Hey everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal. I had to do a video about how to place a metatarsal pad onto an orthotic. I get this question so often, it's incredible. Um, so I think that we should probably start with, you know, what is a metatarsal pad? And it's generally this little teardrop device here that usually comes in an orthotic uh, and it's sometimes built into it. And it's there to try to act as a little bit of a, an arch builder for this part of the foot right here. So the one thing I don't like about the ones that are already built into the orthotic is that sometimes they're not in the right position. They may not be up high enough or back enough or they may not be in or out enough. They're always kind of in a standard position and not really all that custom or individual for the person. And so I often do custom orthotics, but they can get a little bit pricey and uh, we put those exactly where they need to be. But when you can't get into a custom orthotic, um, I've gone to the Tread Labs only because uh, they're super durable and they have a removable metatarsal pad that come in different sizes, all right? But in order to know where to put this, I think we should just understand the bottom of the foot a little bit better, all right? So what is metatarsalgia? Well, if you take a look at the bottom of the foot, you're going to see that this is where the shaft of the bone is, okay? And what happens is you have this joint and this joint exists right over here, here's one, here's another, and those are the two that are most commonly affected. And this one down here can also be affected. Now it can happen on all five, um, but that's all right. Usually it's one of these three, and usually the second and the third toes are the ones that are most affected. And what happens is these joints strike the floor too hard, and when they do, um, they just get inflamed and irritated and thickened and people will say it feels like I have a sock that's bunched up in here or maybe there's a stick or it's like walking on a marble or a rock um, in this part of the foot. All right. So what we want to do is we want to try to take some pressure off of that area by using the metatarsal pad. All right. Um, most people who have metatarsalgia lose this arch in this part of the foot. So the metatarsal pad, as you can see here, is a little bit thicker in the middle and it tapers off to both sides. And so that's gonna help reestablish this arch in the foot this way. The other thing that we're looking for is that the metatarsal, we want to fall off of the cliff of the metatarsal pad. So we don't wanna put this on the sore spot, right? Because they're already having a lot of inflammation there. We wanna put this metatarsal pad just behind the sore joints, okay? So when they put weight on it, it's going to help to reestablish the arch this way. And it's also gonna allow those joints to kind of fall off the cliff and get the benefit of not getting irritated with every step you take, all right? So the way we're going to do this in this particular insole is we're gonna take that metatarsal pad and let's say that he's most tender underneath the second one we are going to put this pad in here closer to the second metatarsal and put it under like this so that it strikes just behind that joint. Now, usually it's the second and the third, so we most commonly will put this piece, this metatarsal pad in the middle between the two, it's Velcroed, and then the metatarsal heads are gonna land around it and not necessarily on it, all right? And um, these particular insoles come with different size metatarsal pads. This happens to be a large. Uh, Michael here is a size 11 shoe. Um, but if you're maybe in a size five or a six, you wanna get the small ones. And then if you're running around the eights and nines, you probably wanna be into a medium metatarsal pad. Um, I recommend doing this on both sides because typically if you have it on one, you're likely to get it on the other side. Um, and so it's a real easy fix to take some uh, discomfort off of the metatarsal heads. 
This is a diagnosis that I probably have the most success treating just with a simple metatarsal pad and a good orthotic. Um, it's important to improve the calf flexibility also with some stretching and we'll add a video um, in the links to uh, show you how to do that appropriately also. But I hope you enjoyed today's video on how to properly place a metatarsal pad in an orthotic for metatarsalgia. Um, and if you enjoyed today's video, please uh, give us a like and uh, subscribe. Thanks.